What are realistic weight loss goals? Because you have people who will say, I'm going to lose 50 pounds this year. <laughs> and then they struggle to lose five pounds within the first six months, and then they're discouraged. Uh, I always say you need to set up, like, term goals, like a first term, second term, third term. And try to, you know, try to just go aim for that first term first. Try to aim for that first term first. And then, you know, once you reach that first term, go to that second term. And that if you, if it is a third term, because some people might have four different terms, you know, because. So you said break it down in yes, small pieces. Yes, you okay. break, break it down. Because sometimes it's, it's so hard to be like, okay, well, you know, somebody's 300 pounds. And they're like, you know, and they've been struggling with their weight. It's you have to break it down because if you, I, I need to lose, they need to lose basically like 150 pounds at least. It depends on what type of body type they are or something like that. They they need to lose maybe 100 to 150 pounds, but putting that all on them, that will stress you out and makes you make you want to uh-huh. stress eat. Uh-huh. So, gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So break it down in realistic goals. So I would say in hearing you say that, mm-hmm. also write it down. So if my goal is to lose 50 pounds this year, mm-hmm. break those 50 pounds yes. down. And so month one, yes. I'm going to yes. lose two pounds. Yes. Month, month three, maybe five pounds. So they're small chunks mm-hmm. that you can accomplish. And if you write it down somewhere, you more yes. it's more realistic for you to be able to accomplish that. Yes. So if, if your goal is 20 pounds and you lose those 20 pounds, how do you maintain that weight? Because we see that happen all the time. Yeah. Someone put in the work, mm-hmm. go hard at it. Mm-hmm. They've lost the 20 pounds by June. Mm-hmm. And then by November, they didn't pluff back up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would say um, you have to, you know, once you lose that 20 pounds and you reach your goal and you have, you know, you got to that good place where you want to stay, um, you need to see how many calories you need to take in day. You know, uh, yeah going to a nutritionist or some kind of nutrition website that you can put your, your weight in, you put your height in, um, you put uh, how active you are, and it lets you know exactly how many calories you're supposed to intake a day. I believe it's, um, it's either MyFitnessPal or uh, CalorieTrack.com. Okay. Um, and, you know, you can research that and pull that up. And so you can, you know, know how many calories you're supposed to intake daily. 